This fourth brake light installation is pretty straightforward on many vehicles, but not all. In this example, the vehicle came equipped with a tow hitch receiver and plug connector from the factory, which makes wiring quite easy. If you want to see this installed on a vehicle with an aftermarket add-on hitch and no plug that's ready to go, let me know in the comments. Since this video covers vehicles with, let's just call it a towing package, we will be using this harness with three connectors on it. Let's take this kit to the back of our car and climb under the rear bumper. Under here, you'll look for a plug that looks like the two large plugs on this harness. Sometimes it will just be hanging out near the trailer hitch, and on other vehicles like this one, it will be right behind the trailer wiring plug. There is an unlock tab that you will have to hold open to pull them apart, and they tend to be stubborn. Once you have the plug disconnected, this harness can be plugged in, and each side should click into place. The third connector needs to be routed towards the receiver and then through it. With the connector through the receiver, let's take a look at our light unit. As it comes, it has these retaining buttons that clip in where the locking pin would go. That's fast and easy, but I worry that someone may steal it. That's where a small modification comes in. You cut out these buttons so that you can slide a lock through, and don't worry, the directions that come with this says that doing this will not void the warranty. I used some flush cut wire cutters to cut the buttons, and I tried to leave as much of the plastic on as I could, so that when I install the lock pin, there's a tight fit. Speaking of the lock pin, I got this one and I'm going to slide on some very optional garden hose gaskets as washers to reduce the potential for noise. Connect the plug to the back of the light unit and guide the wire as you insert the light into the receiver. Test the running light, brake light, and reverse light functions. Now, depending on the vehicle, you may want or need to tie the loose wires up so they don't drag on the road or get caught on something. This comes with a few zip ties so you can do just that, but you can also use electrical tape to tape it to other existing wires. Just make sure that you aren't attaching the wires to something hot like exhaust or something that moves like suspension components. Also, for one final option, some of you may not like this flashing brake light, or perhaps you aren't sure if it's legal where you are and want to be on the safe side. All you have to do is cut the purple wire coming from the middle of the supplied harness, and it deactivates the feature. I was actually quite sure I was going to disable this on mine, based solely on how I've seen others work. However, after seeing the less dramatic flashing and smarter flash timing that won't constantly be flashing at whoever happens to be behind me and stop and go traffic, I've decided to keep it. Once you have this installed, not only do you get some added safety, but backup cameras tend to have a much less grainy picture. I'm quite happy with it, and I'm likely to grab another one for the other car. Thanks for watching Car Simplified, and consider checking out more of our videos.